In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of deploying your own website to GitHub pages for free. If you've been following the Get and GitHub series from the beginning, hopefully now you have a GitHub account and you know how to push your code to GitHub. So let's begin. The very first thing that you need to do is create a new repository and the name of the repository should be in this format for so your username dot github dot io. For example, if my username is Isavru, it's just my name spelled backwards, then the name of this repository should be isavru.github.io. I'll tell you in a while why this is important. So now you can clone this repository, add the code to your website, and once you're done, you can push this website to GitHub. Now all you have to do is go to the repositories page on GitHub and go to the settings tab. On the left hand side, you will see a settings menu. Under the code and automation category, you will be able to see an option for pages. Once you click on it, you will be able to see a page like this. Under the branch option, select the branch that you want to deploy. For me, it's the main branch because all of my latest and updated code is on the main branch. After you select a branch, you'll be able to see a new option come up. You can leave this as it is for now and click save. It will take some time, but in a couple of minutes, your website will be live on this address. So the URL is the same as the name of the repository. This is the URL where all of your repositories can be published to. If your repository's name is the same as this URL, which is username.github.io, then this will be your home page. You can do this with any repository and publish it live on GitHub pages. So if the name of your repository is portfolio, then this repository will be live on the URL username.github.io slash the repository's name. Only for the repository that is named the same as this URL will be live on the home page. Make sure that your repository has an index.html file because this will be the default file that will be displayed on your home page for every repository. If it does not have an index.html file, the page that will be rendered by default will be either your index.md file or your readme.md file. That's it for this video. In the next video, I am going to continue the get series and talk about about branches.